Hey guys, hey Kylie, how are you doing? Uh, so, video for you about sharpening. I also get a lot of questions about sharpening. Uh, I don't know, I do consider myself pretty decent with sharpening. All my knives are really sharp, if I can say so myself. Uh, so what I want to show you, it's going to be a little different probably than most of the people. Uh, it's technique I like uh, probably still even till this day the best, uh, even though I do have a belt sander now. It's a technique also that I use to reprofile my knives and uh, once I reprofile it all I do to keep them sharp is strapping but the, this is the first step and also the most important and also the step that I do if something happens, if I chip the knife or if I roll it or something like that if I have to actually reprofile it again. So what you want to do is the Spider Co Parameter 2. My EDC quite often. It's very decent sharp as it is. I always keep my knife sharp. Just the magazine paper. This actually if you want to do the, the absolute sharpness, I think this do knife uh, much better justice if you do the thin magazine paper or newspaper and unsupported. You see, it's not as, as good. If you go on the further side, it rips. That's the that's the ultimate sharpen, sharpness, I would say. If if it can do, uns you see, it doesn't really do the unsupported part, but that uh, that far part of the paper, the regular paper, it does really nice, clean cuts. So now. Let's get on to the dulling it. Just diamond rod. I would call that dull if I can write on my fingers. Where did I throw that paper? Yeah, that did the job. That did the job and pretty much even better proof is me running it on my hand you can see that I'm actually pressing pretty hard and it's not cutting so I would call this a dual knife so now the technique that I use and uh, I think it's it might be interesting for a lot of people I did have a, I do have a video on it a uh, while ago is a technique for reprofiling for people who don't want to or just can't buy the belt sander and uh, I find very helpful these 5 inch discs for this it's a 5 inch uh, drill disc attachment it has a foam backing and a hook and loop system and what I do is a 220 grit sandpaper you know set it up and get some angle for the camera too I don't know how. Okay, let me stand up for this. And for both sides, I run it on, you know, the same way like you do. Estimate the angle for what you want. You can see the angle. You go to the to the sandpaper. One side. And then this this way, this other side. Ultimately, it's doing the same thing as a uh, hand center, uh, hand sanding on the sandpaper. Sometimes I wet the paper or put a little bit of uh, WD-40. They burn it a little bit. Now I take it to the what is it? 600 wet or dry sandpaper just for a quick touch up.
and the same way like you actually either on the strap or uh, I put the mouse pad or paper towels underneath it pretty much anything works uh, lately I find myself doing it on the strap because strap is always close by handy in my shop now I'm gonna take a 1200 grit that's what I normally end up with I actually spray just a tiny bit of uh, WD-40 on it to make it a little smoother and uh, I notice also it helps to clean my sandpaper cleaner it lasts longer that way if I use WD-40 or water for that matter because it's easy to wipe that metal off that you grind Yep, it's almost there. Let me just wipe this. And now I'll take a strap and strap it. Green compound, homemade strap, no fancy tools. Pretty much same like you. I'm not a big fan of uh, wet stones for some reason. I have some, some stone and one wet stone. Just not a big fan of them. Trust the sandpapers much more than. So let's see. It's not as sharp as it was before, my original. And let's see on this, on magazine paper. It's not as sharp as it was, but considering that I really took a completely blunt knife in a couple minutes. I will run it a little more. Let me see if I can do it right now. thing with this is that you don't have to worry about overheating it. Pretty low speeds, so overheating shouldn't really be an issue. Again, the, I'm gonna jump straight to 1200 sandpaper. quick straps ah that's better yep just couple more seconds and it cuts much much nicer let me see hair popping like really scary it, absolutely no pressure let me see man. don't know if you can pick it up it's actually shaving facial hair. Now it might do this. Yep. You can see unsupported magazine paper. This is, I think this is the ultimate test for like, if you just want to do the ultimate sharpness. It has nothing to do with edge holding or cutting performance or anything. It's just that ultimate sharpness. Some leather. Push cutting leather. Like nothing. Uh, I had the paracord here somewhere. Where is paracord? Uh, here's a here's a cardboard. Very easy. Very easy. I like this technique. Like I said, still till this day, I find it uh, very easy, very fast. You know, 
uh, it's very little bit that can go wrong, you know. You can't really overheat the blade and ruin the heat read and stuff like that. It's literally just, you know, low speeds and uh, works for me really good. And I'm this way, I'm able to sharpen from the small little knives up to, you know, big macheres I have. Uh, and, uh, works really well. And I think it's uh, helpful to other people because uh, you can show them that you don't really need uh, fancy belt grinders and stuff. And it works, you know. And uh, it works very well for me, I think. All of my knives are sharpened that way pretty much. I think only only one I sharpened on the belt sander is the Tom Brown tracker when I put the scandi on it. But everything else is this way, this uh, $10, $10 uh, sanding disc for a drill. Almost everybody has a drill and I think it works. I don't know, let me know guys. Uh, you, you're pretty good at what you do, especially you Kylie. And uh, there's a lot of other people who knows their stuff about sharpening. So, hope you enjoyed guys, take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.